James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is November 19, 2022, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. We've had another solar flare and radio blackout. Sunspot AR-3150 exploded today at around 12.56 UTC time, producing an M1 Plus class solar flare. NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded a shockwave emerging from the blast site at over 930 kilometers per second, over 2 million miles per hour. This shockwave almost certainly lifted a chronal mass ejection, CME, out of the sun's atmosphere, and it will possibly be Earth-directed. Confirmation awaits fresh data from the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, so let's stay tuned. This blast also caused a radio blackout. Over to the D-Region Absorption Prediction Center, we see that right at 1255, we have that M flare that impacts most of Africa, most of South America, but most importantly, it was centered in the Atlantic Ocean, luckily. We did have a radio blackout in this area. Alternation was affected uh, up to about 30 hertz and it was fairly long term we've also of course had that C baseline so everyone's getting their dose of radiation as the globe turns but this is the big story the M 1.63 class solar flare and associated chrome mass ejection we do actually get to see it on STO. This is a newly named sunspot, 3150. We'll take a look at it right here as it explodes. And some of this stuff in the central disk also explodes. Take a look at it, 171 angstroms as it explodes. And something's going on over here. Looks like some sort of tsunami. Take a look at the central disk again. A lot of action in the central disk as well. Back to 193 central disk instead of the explosion. Look at this morph. This area completely morphs. Look at this. So that was a solar tsunami that uh, came before another solar flare. That makes such little sense. Watch this morph. That is a coral hole that was filled up immediately. Never seen anything like that. And here is our 1.63 M-class solar flare that hit right there at 1255-ish. So we do have solar winds inbound, perhaps for some point today. And uh, we look for a earthquake uptick based on that solar activity. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in the bizarro world.